welcome to today's meditation time. Be proud of yourself that you had an alarm set or reminder or something that told you that it is time to just draw away from all the busyness and before the new week begins to find a little stillness, a little quiet, a little awareness, and maybe a little peace to head into this new week. So wherever you are, I hope that you are comfortable. I want you to get to a spot where your body feels good. So whether you are seated or lying down, whatever spot you've chosen, just gently let the body settle in. We think that the mind is the number one distractor whenever we're coming to meditation, but honestly, it's the body. And if we're restless and if things don't feel right, we cannot do what it is that we want to do in this moment. So give your body a chance to show you what spot needs to be adjusted and make those adjustments. And then as you do, gently close your eyes and start to find a rhythm of breath that feels as comfortable as the position that your body is in now. And just honor the fact that again, that reminder went off, you stopped the doing and you've chosen to just be for a few minutes. And as we look ahead to a new week, I wanna share some words with you. I hope that will be inspiration, not only for this moment that we are together, but that will hopefully give you inspiration and grounding for all the moments that are to come as the Monday arrives, as the week continues and the schedule gets busy. It's all about choice. And that's what tonight's focus is. So listen to these words as you start to just breathe nice and slow and steady rhythms of breath and see if there's a spot in here of the words that I say that begins to connect to you. Something that resonates with how you're feeling today, where you are in your life right now. So let's take a couple breaths together and then I'll share. Slow, deep breath in. And a nice, easy exhale. And a slow, deep breath in. And a nice, easy exhale. And then you just continue with the rhythm that feels right. And the words that I've written and chosen for today say, today, I may be faced with what seems like too many uncertainties. But in this moment, I choose to focus on the certainty of the breath that fills my lungs right here in this present moment. Today, I may be frustrated with the limitations on my life at this point in time right now. But today I choose to focus on the fact that I can still show up for me anytime and find peace. And today I might already be dreading the many, many things on tomorrow and the next day's schedule. But in this moment, I choose to focus on being present here and now and not bringing tomorrow's worries into today. Rather, I choose this moment. And today I may not be able to see all of the incredible beauty of my life because I'm distracted by what seems to be mess and chaos all around me. But today I will choose to remember that I have a choice to keep looking for the beauty in life and not get distracted by the chaos and the mess. And then finally today, I wanna to choose to remember how far I've come. For some of you, you have a long time in your practice, some of you still very new, but I want you to look at how far you've come at putting your well-being as a priority and the way we do it is we do it one moment at a time, one breath at a time. We don't worry about the moments that are coming tomorrow. They're going to come. We have no control over their arrival. We have no control over what comes with them. But here in this moment, we have a choice and we can focus on the breath coming in 
and the breath going out and the breath coming in and the breath going out. And then before we grow quiet together, I want you just to think to yourself, what are the things in life right now that are skewing my perspective? It doesn't have to be trauma or anything terrible. It could just be the busyness of our everyday lives, of the constant pull on our attention. For some of you, it is bigger than that, and it is a little sadder and a little more traumatic. And we're not going to focus on those things, but I want us to be aware of them because if we are not aware of the things that are trying, trying to draw us away from the present moment, they will come and surprise us when we are not ready. So be aware of them. Look ahead to the week for a second. Think about the things that you're struggling with right now. And then once you recognize what those things are, or that thing is, almost as if you are physically picking it up with your hands, just set it to the side. Outside of you, outside of the breath, outside of this present moment. Those things are still there. Our meditation practice does not make us immune from trauma and stress and worry and anxiety. But it certainly gives us the tools to remain present and aware and intentional about choosing paths of peace instead of paths of chaos and uncertainty. So as you sit together for these next couple of minutes, I'll grow quiet and you just sit with your thoughts. Try to keep them here. Don't go over to those things that we've set to the side. Stay right here. Focus on the breath coming in and focus on the breath going out. And if the mind drifts to the side where those things are sitting, just gently drift back. Finding stillness in your body and ideally somewhere along the way, finding stillness in your mind and stillness in your spirit. Just let that sound be your coming back to the space that we're sharing. Notice how you feel for just these couple of moments of stillness. Notice how you feel. For some of us, this is difficult. Quieting our mind, leaving those things set to the side, it is not an easy task. But the one thing that I want to assure each of you and myself of is we deserve this. We deserve to have moments of stillness. We deserve to have moments of calm. And we deserve to begin to live lives that are grounded in peace. It may seem like a very tall order right here in this moment but if we'll approach it one breath, one moment at a time, you'll begin to see that not only is it possible, but it's truly right there waiting for you. 
And so as we close our time today, I encourage you, don't pick up the things that you've set to the side. They'll find their way into your path soon enough on their own. Try to stay present. Try to take yourself into a night of sleep that is calm, that is reassuring, that is nurturing. And then start your day tomorrow the same way, pausing, breathing, and staying present. Namaste.